Right, and we come to the ethics part of law, investigation and ethics. And um, an area that is important and um, which we can say a few things about and which is also somewhat embarrassing because, uh, I mean, let's face it, it's hard enough as the uh, exam is written, um, the work that has to go into creating questions that will assess not just facts, but the experience, the critical thinking uh, of the candidate. Um, and that becomes even harder when we get into the question of ethics. Um, now, as I say, you know, this is important. This is, uh, we are the ultimate insiders in terms of insider threats. We are the guys who are to protect the enterprise against everyone, including the, uh, the insiders and the insider threat. So, you know, it, it's all too easy for us knowing what kind of protections can be put in place, are to be put in place, are effective and are ineffective to tune the protections to protect against everybody except us. So, um, you know, we, we've talked about this to a certain extent with regard to the operators, um, the administrators in, in terms of operations security. But uh, we need to consider, you know, uh, having ethical standards for, you know, those of us who are managing, consulting, uh, putting the security together. Uh, we are the professionals. And, I mean, there's professional ethics involved as well. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about uh, professional codes of ethics. Um, codes of ethics in different professions and ours specifically um, and I've got to I've got to admit um, I mean in the old days we were allowed to uh, anybody was allowed to submit questions uh, for consideration for the exam now it's unlikely that you would submit a question and it would go straight into the exam as it was um, it went through the exam committee, it went through psychometrics testing, um, it, uh, you know, probably got, uh, edited along the way, um, and indeed the exam committee, when you submitted something, would frequently send it back to you, <coughs> asking you to, uh, change certain things, to, uh, change the distractors, uh, redo the wording to make it clearer or less obvious, um, and so on. The um, thing was that the uh, only question that I ever submitted that didn't get, you know, a return for uh, editing or, you know, any indication, uh, well, it's not one way or another, it was the an indication, no, we're not going to do this. The only question that I ever submitted that said, no, this is not acceptable, was in fact a question on ethics. Um, and I think, well, the explanation that they gave was, you know, we think that this is too hard for people. And it's sort of like, uh, look, you know, guys, you, you ask us to teach about ethics, you ask us to, to discuss ethics, you ask us, uh, you know, it's, it's part of the common body of knowledge 
um, why is, does this field have a question that's too hard uh, as opposed to other questions where you can ask a really uh, technical, technical question and it just gets a higher mark on the uh, exam itself when it gets marked. But no, for ethics, no, can't do it. So that's kind of embarrassing, but, um, and even further embarrassing, I think the only question you are ever likely to see on the exam about ethics is about the ISC2 code of ethics. And um, we will talk about that. Do not worry. Uh, here, you have to sign it when you write the exam. So, you know, you've got the material right there. Um, this is not, not terribly difficult. But, um, as I say, you know, this is, this is important. Um, it is a, a significant part of being a professional, is, is uh, having, uh, uh, you know, people having confidence in us as certified uh, professionals. Now, that is not to say that anybody, everybody who holds the CISSP is, in fact, ethical. I know uh, there are people who hold the CISSP who, when I shake hands with them, I want to count my fingers afterwards. Um, you know, the CISSP is unfortunately, and again, you know, embarrassingly, not a guarantee um, that anyone has any absolute standard of ethics. Um, we will we will talk more about this as we go through various aspects of ethics. Um, but it you know it is important to the profession. Um, it's not uh, terribly important on the exam, although if you are at 69% and you get a question on ethics, um, you better have paid attention to this part. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, I don't think you're too terribly likely to see a question on ethics on the exam given everything else uh, that can be asked of you. So, um, I, you know, I, I do not want to overstate the case either way. It is, you know, our, our profession is uh, attempting to become a profession. I don't think we really are there yet. Um, but this is an important part of any profession, is having... Uh, a, a code of ethics, a code of conduct, and we'll uh, talk about that a little bit more in the next uh, little clip here, uh, where we examine more uh, theoretical aspects of ethics.